Good morning! Today our goal will be to determine the average acceleration of this car as it slows down. So let's commence operations. To do this, you're going to need three variables. On the videos you'll be watching today, you'll be recording time. In addition, you'll be recording displacement, or the distance the car has traveled. For all the videos you're going to watch today, the final velocity is zero. So get your stopwatch ready and get ready. All right, we're going to record the time right now. You're going to start your stopwatch when the front of the car hits the zero point of the meter stick. And you're going to stop the stopwatch when the car comes to a stop. So hopefully you've already started the stopwatch. And let's see. They'll be coming to a stop very, very soon. Very, very soon. Get ready. Get ready. Now, stop the stopwatch. Now, when I did this a few moments ago, it took around 20 seconds. So that's roughly the time you should have gotten as well. Close to 20 seconds or 19 seconds. Now, for all the videos you're going to watch today, Displacement is the distance that the car has traveled. And so for this car, I would estimate it to be at around 84.5 centimeters or 0 0.845 meters. So here's the table I'd like you to complete today. Notice that you'll be doing it for two cars. Notice as well where it says trial times, each car should be done four times. So you'll get four different trial times. In order to complete the table, you'll need the following equations. Please note that for acceleration, there's a minus sign placed in front of the equation. Why is that negative there? Why is that minus sign there? Because when a car is slowing down, or when any object is slowing down, its acceleration is negative. So here's the data. Altogether, we have four different cars and two videos per car. Here's the first car, the Mini. Here's the second video for the Mini. Here's the Porsche. Remember to start that stopwatch when it passes this point here, the zero of the meter stick, and to stop the stopwatch when the car comes to a stop. And here's the second video for the Porsche. Here's the Corvette. I 
I know it's a little blurry, but you can see here, well, here's the 70 centimeter mark. And back here is around the 65, so I want you to estimate where it, it ends up. Here's the second video for the Corvette. Here's the stock car. Remember to start that stopwatch now. You should have already started that stopwatch. As soon as it crosses that zero point, you start that stopwatch. And here's the second video for the stock car.